Bonuses for teachers, money to develop shovel ready mega sites and millions of dollars for a school safety training center. These are just some of the requests in Governor Henry McMaster's executive budget unveiled today. And our Jason Raven tells us more about these proposals. It's important to note that this executive budget are just suggestions for state lawmakers. Ultimately, it's up to the General Assembly to decide what exactly goes into the budget over the last couple of years. They have taken many of the suggestions the governor has laid out into consideration. Economic development, education and the environment are some of the highlights from the governor's executive budget. Now, the state is expected to have a $3.8 billion surplus this year. Now, the governor is suggesting the General Assembly continue to raise teacher salaries. The minimum starting salary was increased to $40,000 last year. My budget proposes to increase that this year to $42,500. My goal is by 2026 to have at least a minimum starting salary of at least, at least $50,000. He's also proposing a bonus for educators, one half of it to be given out in December 2023 and the other half in May 2024. Now, there are proposed investments to help spur more economic development in South Carolina and train South Carolinians to enter the workforce. Now, to help speed up SCDOT projects, the governor is suggesting using $850 million. Now, there are proposals to increase law enforcement pay and get more SROs in schools. The governor is also suggesting something new, using $3.5 million to create the Center for School Safety and Targeted Violence. And this partnership with Lexington District 1 will provide a state-of-the-art training center for law enforcement and school personnel from around the state. Governor McMaster says all of these investments will set South Carolina up for the future. We have an opportunity now, the way the economy is going, the way our state is growing in the right ways to set a course that will be beneficial for generations. Now, the governor is also proposing using $78 million for recruitment and retention pay increases for state employees. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News.